Good day everyone. For today, we will be discuss about the ordinary and exact interest and the maturity value. When we say exact interest, it's used when computations require the use of exact number of days in a year. We have 365 days or that is 366 days. One day is added after the end of February if the given year is leap year. Exact interest is denoted as IE. The formula in getting the exact interest we have, IE is equal to the principal times the rate times the given number of days over 365 days or 366 days if the given year is a leap year. When we say ordinary interest, or it is also called as the banker's interest, it is used when interest is computed on the basis and assume 30-day period per month, or that is 360 days in one year. Ordinary interest is denoted as IO. In the formula for that, we have IO is equal to PR times the given number of days over 360. We have here example number one, an amount of 37,500 pesos was borrowed at 8 and 1 half percent simple interest for 120 days. Compute the A, exact interest, and letter B, ordinary interest. First thing to do, we will find the given. We have this one. P is equal to 37,500 and our R is equal to 8 1 half percent or that is 0 0.085. And the given time, we have 120 days. We'll find first letter A. The exact interest shall be calculated as follows. What is the formula in exact? IE is equal to PR times the given number of days over 365. Substitute 37,500, that is our principal, times the rate 0 0.085 times 120, that is the given time, over 365 days. 120 divided by 365 times 0 0.08 times 37,000. And our IE or the exact interest is equal to 1,047 pesos, 0.95 centavos. For letter B, the ordinary interest shall be computed. We have the formula IO is equal to PR times the given number of days divided by 360. Substitute. P is equal to 37,500 times. Our R is 0 0.085 times 120 days divided by 360. And that is our IO or, or, or ordinary interest, 1,062 pesos, 0. 0.50 centavos. Okay. Let's have another example. Example number two, an amount of 54,000 pesos is invested at 8% simple interest on March 15. Find the amount of A, exact interest, and letter B, the ordinary interest earnings by August 11 of the same year. Again, first thing to do, find the given. We have that P is equal to 54,000 pesos and our rate is 8% or that is equal to 0 0.08. And the given T or the time is from March 15 to August 11 of the same year. Solution for letter B A, the exact interest shall be obtained as follows. August 11 is day 223. From the table that I have given to you, while March 15 is day 74, hence 223 is minus 74 is equal to 149 days. Therefore, from March 15 to August 11, there are only 145 days. Okay, as you can see, I have presented the table again. March 15, we have this one. There are 74 days 
from January 1. August 11, August 11. There are 223 days from January 1. To get the number of days from March, March 15 to August 11, we will simply subtract 223 minus 74 and the answer is we have 149. Okay? Nasabta All right. Thus, IE or the exact interest is equal to PR times the given number of days over 365. Substitute, we have the principal 54,000 times 0 0.08 as the, in, as the rate times 149 days divided by 365 and our exact interest is equal to 1,763 pesos, 0.51 centavo. Okay, let's move to letter B. The ordinary interest or the banker's interest shall be computed. We have IO is equal to PR times the number of days over 360 days. Substitute 54,000 times 0 0.08 mauna rate times 149 divided by 360 and our ordinary interest is equal to 1,788 Pesos. That is already our ordinary interest or that is also called as banker's interest. Right? Let's move to maturity value. We have maturity value is when a certain amount of money is deposited or borrowed and the sum of the money at the end of the period that is called maturity value. Maturity value is also called as the accumulated value. If we let the symbol M be the maturity value or the accumulated value, then we shall have maturity value or that is M is equal to principal or P plus the interest that is I or that is simply written as M is equal to P plus I. Okay. Since I is equal to PRT, then we have M is equal to P plus I, that is equal to P plus PRT. Substitute ang value sa I, that is PRT. And M is equal to P times 1 plus RT. So this is now our formula. In finding the maturity value of a loan, observe the two steps or two given method. Method A and Method B. For Method A, first, use I is equal to PRT to find the interest. Second, finding M using M is equal to P plus I. For Method B, first, use the formula M is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Second, substitute the value in the formula and solve the maturity value. All right. Let's have an example using these two method if if it gives us the same answers okay we have here example number one find the maturity value of a loan of eighteen thousand pesos made for two years at eight percent simple interest our given is p is equal to eighteen thousand pesos r is equal to eight percent or that is equal to zero point zero eight and the given time is two years Method A, we have I is equal to PRT. That is our first step. Second, substitute P is equal to 18,000 times the rate that is 0 0.08 times the given time 2. I multiply tanan and it gives us the result of 2,880 pesos. Then, M is equal to P plus I. That is our second step for Method A. Substitute the given principal is 18,000 plus our I. Okay, we have that 2,880. And our maturity value is 20,880. Okay, for method B, we have M is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Substitute, we have that P, P that is 18,000 pesos times 1 plus 0 0.08, that is our rate, times 2. 
0 0.08 times 2, that is 0 0.16. 0 0.16 plus 1, that is 1.16 times 18,000. And our maturity value is 20,880 pesos. As you can see, method A and method B have the same answers. Okay? So therefore, it's your choice which method in yung ga miton to find the maturity value. Okay? Next, we have here another example. A sum of 43,200 is borrowed for 11 months at 7 and 1 fifth percent simple interest. Determine the maturity value of the loan. Here's our given. P is equal to 43,200. R is equal to 7 and 1 fifth or that is equal to 0 0.072. And the given time is 11 months. Method A, first step, I is equal to PRT. Substitute 43,200 times 0 0.072 times 11 over, two, 11 over 12. Why is it 11 over 12? Because simple interest only consider a per year basis. Okay? There are 12 months. Since there are 12 months in a year, so you have to divide 11 by 12 months. So we have this one. 20,000. 2,851 pesos, 0.20 centavos is our I. That is 11 divided by 12 times 0 0.072 times 43,200. We can get this result. Step number two, M is equal to P plus I. Substitute the given principal is 43,200 plus our interest is 2,851.2. And that is already our maturity value. And that is equal to 46,051 pesos, 0.20 centavos. For method B, we have M is equal to P times 1 plus RT. Substitute, we have this one, 43,200 times 1 plus 0 0.072 times 11 divided by 12. 11 divided by 12, we will get 0 0.91666667 times 0 0.072, and that is 0 0.066 plus 1, and that is 1.066 times 43,200, and that is already our maturity value, and that is equal to 46,051 pesos, 0.20 centavos. Same answer with method A. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something today. Keep safe and God bless you all.